With the HVT 2.0 system fully assembled with an adequate power supply, either through the wall outlet or optional transfer battery, therapy setup will require the following components. A new disposable patient circuit, ProSoft nasal cannula, the instructions for use will provide recommendations to help determine the proper cannula sizing for each patient, a sterile water bag, and oxygen if prescribed. The HVT 2.0 uses touchscreen operation that can be controlled with wet or dry, gloved or ungloved hands. A settings menu accessible at the top left includes selections such as screen brightness and oxygen source. In addition to the three parameter settings of flow, FiO2, and temperature, the display also includes an alarm silence button and screen dim. Patient setup and therapy initiation requires just five steps. One, power the unit on. The screen will illuminate and display the message no circuit at the top. Two, insert the disposable patient circuit by sliding it into the docking nest. You will hear an audible click once it is fully installed and seated properly. Three, hang and spike the sterile water supply, then ensure the tubing is unclipped to start the flow of water. The screen will show priming at the top, indicating that the disposable patient circuit is priming with water. Four, once priming completes, select the cannula type and hit confirm. To change the patient settings, tap each parameter on the screen and scroll left or right in order to find the desired setting. Adjustments can be made among any or all of the three parameters before saving the changes. Tap the close button at the bottom of the screen to lock in your selections. The screen has an automatic lock after 15 seconds of inactivity to prevent accidental setting changes. When you are finished adjusting the parameters, hit the start therapy button. You will notice the top of the screen is now illuminated with a green bar and displays the word running. Five. Once the temperature on the screen has reached at least 33 degrees Celsius, this typically takes five minutes or less, connect the patient interface to the delivery tube and place it on the patient. It is best practice to put the cannula on the patient to warm it to his or her body temperature. This also helps to reduce condensation. To pause therapy for any reason, tap the Stop Therapy button at the bottom of the screen and follow the on-screen prompts to confirm stopping therapy. To resume therapy, simply tap the Start button again. The HVT 2.0 system is designed specifically with patient safety in mind and includes a comprehensive alarm and notification package. The device employs two levels of alarms depending on the urgency. For a medium priority alarm, the alarm tone is a series of three beeps repeated every five seconds. Medium priority alarms take priority over and are sounded at a higher volume than all low priority alarms. The alarm banner is displayed in yellow and flashes. For a low priority alarm, the tone is a series of two beeps repeated every 20 seconds. The alarm banner is displayed in blue and does not flash. When an alarm occurs, you will hear the corresponding series of beeps. Tap the More Information button and the on-screen instructions will guide you through troubleshooting the issue. Once resolved, therapy will resume. Once the therapy has been discontinued, we can now remove it from the patient and prepare the system for the next patient. Tap the Stop Therapy button and follow the on-screen prompts to confirm stopping therapy. Press and hold the power button to power the unit off. Remove the cannula from the patient, clamp the water spike, and then press the latch on the disposable patient circuit to remove it from the docking station, while at the same time removing the sterile water bag from the top of the roll stand. Discard the entire disposable patient circuit, including from the cannula to the sterile water bag. Yes, this includes the water supply. Throw it away. Using a Super Sandy cloth or other approved cleaner, wipe down the internal docking station and the HVT 2.0 unit. Wait for at least six minutes for the surface to dry. Refer to the instructions for use for the full list of approved cleaners. Once you have cleaned the device, you are ready for your next patient.